I'm going to introduce the next talk now, and we have a talk from the team at Encharge AI, which is also a sponsor of TVMCon this year. So thank you, Encharge AI, for sponsoring TVMCon, and also for all of your contributions to the TVM open source community. Today, we have Michael and Paul joining us live, and so take it away, folks. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Kleiber and I'm the AI Runtime Lead at Encharge AI. It's my pleasure to speak here today at TVMCon 23 and introduce UMA, the Universal Modular Accelerator Interface, to you. As you can see from the number of contributors here on the first title slide, UMA is a community project. From Encharge AI, University of Tübingen, University of Munich, and Bosch Research, and is also maintained as part of the community. The initial steps towards UMA started a little bit more than a year ago, have made it into Maine in August, and it's even now part of TVM release 0.11. Why did we build UMA? The main motivation was that we, a group of people that can now be considered the UMA community, were looking for an easy way to integrate uh, our hardware accelerators into TVM. We noticed pretty quickly that we all had kind of the same goals, which was connecting our own accelerators to TVM. And we also noticed that a deep understanding of the underlying interfaces uh, of TVM were necessary to reach that goal. So to raise synergy, we decided to team up and build a modular interface. Essentially, UMA now provides APIs, classes, and file structures, and also examples for people to begin with to integrate new accelerators. So UMA effectively builds a second layer above the TVM APIs. To use the Linux terminology porcelain and plumbing layer, UMA builds a stable Python-only API that has clearly defined templates for integrating new accelerators, and also has a pretty short learning period that's why it targets hardware engineers as well as software engineers, especially those which are new to TVM. This wrapper then builds on top of the classic collage-like APIs and other TVM APIs, which are certainly more powerful and additionally also provide C++ interfaces, but require more experience. And here you can see how UMA is integrated into TVM. It consists of two major parts, the UMA partitioner and the UMA pipeline. Those two parts provide all the amazing functionality that TVM has in a condensed API tailored to accelerator integration. From relay pattern matching to tensor IR to code gen and many more. In the scope of this lightning talk, unfortunately, I can only give you a tiny part of the big picture. If you're interested in more, have a look at the recording from the community meeting from July 20. A major goal of the UMA community is also to provide good documentation and executable step-by-step -step tutorials. For this reason, we also created a user tutorial for a minimal accelerator called Vanilla that only can process Conf2Ds is integrated into TVM using the UMA APIs. Plan of the community is also to soon add more advanced templates to the tutorial. Currently, these are referred to as strawberry and chocolate accelerators in the tutorial and might deal with topics like hardware DMA or quantization. And that's exactly where the community needs you. When looking at the discussion forum for UMA related posts, it is evident that there is a continuous discussion and new features are developed all the time. Most recently, the TVMC command line support. So if you have the same goals or are interested in UMA, I'd encourage you to participate. Everybody is highly welcome. The UMA community is currently looking for people who use their own accelerators, and could maybe share experience how the UMA integration looks for them, test new features, and also support 
development of new features. The exchange here is happening in the discussion forum and also from time to time in the TVM community meeting. And that's already the end of this lightning talk. So let me summarize the most important points for you in a bit. UMA is an easy API for integrating your hardware accelerator into TVM. It, it has recently been mainlined and also added to the TVM release and has a rapidly growing community with a lot of interest and more and more people who, who participate. For the future, new features are planned like the ongoing TVMC command line integration, support for quantization, and the update of further integration templates like the strawberry and the chocolate demo accelerator. Thank you very much for your attention. And as a side note, if these kind of topics are interesting for you, like AI compilers or hardware, check out the Encharge AI website we are hiring. Thanks so much, Thanks folks, so much. for the great talk. Oh, I'm hearing echo, but anyways, we have a couple of great questions here that we'd love to ask you. And the first one is like, when do we expect the Uma strawberry and chocolate examples to be published and how can the community help? Yeah. Thanks for the question, Martin. So uh, we are really working on that. And actually, we are um, more in the phase where we actually want from the community to know what are the features that you guys require. So we can think of a lot of uh, different features and requirements that can be inc included. Um, but uh, I think we want to hear from the community there. Great. Yeah, that sounds like a great discussion forum topic or community meeting topic. And then one last question also from Martin is, is UMA able to integrate the current BYOC approaches and could it become the new standard? Um, generally, it is possible. I mean, currently UMA uh, uses the relay to tier hooks uh, that is provided. And I mean, in general, I think it could become a new standard. So we are currently working towards making the usage of TVM for AI accelerators easier and also possible for beginners or hardware engineers with little compiler knowledge uh, that they are able to, to use to integrate their own research projects or their own products into TVM. Yeah, and that, that's basically the thing that we are working on. And maybe back to the uh, initial question. So you asked about you asked about um, the, uh, the the other uh, possibilities. Uh, so what I can see there, uh, Martin, is that uh, things like uh, DMAs can be in, in, integrated in other hierarchies, or also uh, support for quantization. Very cool. Thank you so much, folks, for all of the great work you're doing to lower the barrier of entry into TVM. Okay, so that is all of our talks for today. And I wanted to just thank everyone for showing up to day two of TVMCon 2023. And tomorrow we'll have a bunch of great talks with quite a few of them centering around model training, dynamic shapes and edge device deployment. And lastly, I just wanted to give a really special shout out to our sponsors, Qualcomm, Arm and Tencent, who will all be having presentations tomorrow as well. And thank you so much for all of the rest of our sponsors as well, who have done great talks so far. So thank you so much everyone and hope you have a great rest of your day or evening, wherever you are and we're looking forward to seeing you back tomorrow.